Okay, we're going to start to the far left over there with Andy. Uh, not that you would be surprised anymore by big moments uh, by this team, but like, take me inside what you were experiencing when Lindor's ball goes over the wall. Um, I don't know how to describe it uh, because there was a lot uh, going through my mind, uh, the feeling, the whole dog out, guys jumping up and down, and just because it was hard for us, you know. And it was hard for us a whole year. And then today, perfect example, uh, got runners on, and we couldn't come up with a big hit until finally, who else? They're an MVP, you know. Like I keep saying, you could write a book, you could make a movie, uh, because this is it right here. And then the whole, the whole time as the inning is unfolding, I'm like, Lindor's gonna do it again. And uh, there's no panic. Uh, the way he controls the emotions and he hits that ball, and it's, it's unbelievable. Each celebration here lately seems to be have a little bit of a different feel. I noticed uh, Nimmo and Lindor were a little choked up on the field. Uh, you seem like you're really feeling it right now. Uh, is, is this one feel in some way more powerful than, than the others? 100% because uh, we're doing it here at home in front of our fan base. Uh, and I think this is the first time that we get to celebrate here and we get to clinch. And um, they deserve this, man. Um, you know, I, I keep saying that this is a first-class organization. We got great people here, and I'm proud of the fan base. Uh, I said it on my speech there. Uh, Mets Nation, this is for you. And if we believe, they need to continue to believe because uh, this is real. And finally, did you consider leaving Peterson out there in the ninth, or was it always going to be Diaz? He was always going to be Diaz. He's the best uh, in the league, and once Petey got through the eighth, it was Diaz game. Uh, I have no doubt. And even after the two walks, I knew he was going to get it done. Um, and he did. Here we are celebrating. Okay, we're going to go far right to Ed. Hi, Carlos. What were your, your emotions after the first two innings, leaving the bases loaded? Was it frustration, or did you just feel it's a matter of time we're getting runners on? Yeah, I was, I was, I was excited. I was like, we're going to get to them at some point. And if we don't get to them, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. I was looking up, and the pitch count was getting pretty high up there. And I knew, because this is a pretty much do or die game for them, um, I knew they were going to be aggressive with the bullpen. So um, we just needed to keep it close uh, from our end. And Quintana did a hell of a job. And then the bullpen, Rick Garrett, Peterson, uh, kept us in the game. And we were one swing away. And today, our MVP came through it again. So, um, yeah. They're going to go down here in the front in the purple. Carlos, uh, Rob, before talking about his team, had a few words about your team, and he just made it clear that they haven't given up all season. Just what makes this team so special where no matter what's thrown in front of them, they just find a way with their back up against the wall to come through? Yeah, speaking of that, you know, hot up to the Phillies and Rob Thompson and the whole group there. Uh, unbelievable year for them, winning the division. And that's, that's a really good team uh, that is coached really well and managed really well. So um, we've been through a lot, man. 0-5. Um, uh, what is it? I think I got it now because you know, <laughs> it keeps coming up. 11 games under 500 and... There was so much adversity and injuries, and and from from the beginning, nobody had us doing anything this year. This was supposed to be a transition year, and we kept believing. We knew we had really good players. We knew we had great people, um, and we just kept doing our thing, you know. And um, here we are, uh, you know, uh, on to the next series, and continue to take it one day at a time. And how about Quintana tonight? Yes, Q. Um, it's been hard for him, you know. Uh, he's been through a lot of ups and downs, and he always find a way to get the job done. And we felt really good going into this game because who he is, how much he prepares, how much he, how much he cares, and he went out there and did it and gave us a chance. And uh, proud of him, proud of him because he never gave up, never put his head down, kept working, and uh, he's been an amazing uh, for us uh, the whole year. You're going to go in the back there to Jay in the middle? Yeah. Um, furthermore on Quintana, uh, I was here. I saw you uh, on, a, on a game where Quintana gave up, I think, seven runs in five innings against the Orioles. And you said 
uh, that he this was late August, and, and you said uh, he was going to go back and look at film, and you had confidence in him then. And from then on, he had the he had the lowest ERA in the league. Uh, what what kind of adjustments did he make uh, that you saw that helped him get to this point? Um, he stopped nibbling, and he started attacking. You know, um, he was in the zone, trusting the stuff, um, and he's going to pitch. You know, he's going to move the ball around. He's going to go in and out, up and down, change speed and keep hitters off balance. Um, and he went and did it, you know. He was just getting behind, walking a lot of people, and he's like, screw it, I'm gonna go after people, and uh, just went with it and fix it. Okay, we're gonna go right there, and right, right next to you, yeah. Carlos, we could see on the field that there now is crying in baseball. Can you talk about some of the emotions that the various players were going through on the field and now in the clubhouse. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's hard, man. It's because what we've been through, you know, we've been through a lot, and um, this is not it. You know, we got to continue to ride the wave. We're gonna continue to believe. Um, it was hard. It's been hard. It, nothing has been easy for us. Nothing at all. Um, this one, and every team goes through it. Every team's gonna face adversity, and um, it just. I got to give credit to the players and coaches and the whole, everybody in that building, so. Okay, right here in the front on the right. Carlos, what have you made of the atmosphere you've seen in the building the last couple nights with the Mets fans, and what does it mean to you to guarantee them now two more playoff games at least with another series coming up? It means a lot, and they, they deserve this and, even, and more so, you know. Uh, they've been through a lot, and uh, they never gave up on us, um, even when it was hard. and. You, you mentioned the past couple of nights, but I, I'm going to go back to, you know, the last two months. We felt it, you know, and we kept saying it. We need you guys to be right there with us, and that's what they did. Um, so they should be proud. They are a big part and a huge reason we are where we are because of our fan base. Uh, they need to enjoy it. Um, they need to celebrate um, because moments like this are, you know, this is, this is history, you know, and uh, make sure you enjoy it. Okay, we're going to stay right here on the right. Carlos, what can you say about David Peterson and what he's been able to do for you guys out of the bullpen? Yeah, another guy. Like, I could, I could sit here and start talking about pretty much 26, 28 guys that I got on that roster. Um, and Peterson, uh, not only as a starter, he became, you know, a pretty solid st uh, starting pitcher for us uh, for the last three months. And then once we clinch, uh, he got the save in Milwaukee, and then coming out of the bullpen and getting huge out for us today was a perfect example of it. Um, not easy to go through that lineup the way he did, and handed the ball to Diaz, and here we are celebrating. So I'm proud of him because he had to work really hard after the injury and uh, getting surgery, and um, we didn't know, he didn't know, and. Um, put himself in a really good position moving forward, and uh, he's a big piece of what we're doing here. Okay, we're going to do one more on the back. Carlos, what, what do you, you think was the biggest difference in this series enabling you to move on and sending the Phillies home? Um, we had really good at-bats. That's a, that's a really good pitching staff there. And uh, we were able to not only control the strike zone, but put the ball in play when we needed to. Um, they execute some really good pitches, and we were able to somehow put the ball in play and make things happen. And then defensively, or from the run prevention side of things, um, we attack and then we expand and make them chase when we needed to. Um, but when they were aggressive, swing-wise, that's an aggressive team, and they're going to come at you hard uh, in swinging. And we didn't back down from it. Uh, guys kept attacking, and I thought that was the key. So, Thank you, Carlos. Yep. Appreciate it. Hi, Francisco. Yes. Where, does, where does this rank in your career? Um, pretty high, pretty high, um, because this is a home run to send us to a big place, you know, which is a uh, National League Championship. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's hard to rank them from one to ten, whatever, but, um, it's pretty high for sure. Okay, I'm going to go down here on the left. Front. Can you just take us through the home run on the 2-1 pitch that you hit out? Um, I was just trying to get a good pitch in the zone. I felt like I got a good one early, um, and I missed it. 
and I was just trying to do whatever the boys did. Um, I was just trying to do whatever the boys did, which is get on base. Um, they did an amazing job in front of me. My bat doesn't come up if, if it's not for the guys in front of me. Um, so I was just trying to do that. And then to be able to get this win at home in front of this crowd, just how about the, the environment in the stadium tonight? Um, the crowd was amazing today um, and yesterday and, you know, they have been amazing. So to do it in front of them is very special, but to use, to move on, it's special. Uh, it don't matter what you do, but that's the <laughs> Um, to do at home is it's cool because you get to celebrate not only with your family but also with the fans. I love the high. The high. Okay, we're gonna go over here to Dave on the front row on the left. Francisco, when you came here, you had designs of, of getting this team to, to these places to get into an NLCS. It, it hasn't been a straight line, but how does it feel to, to get to this point, to get this franchise there, to get your teammates? there how, how does it feel to get to this point it feels amazing to be able to continue to move forward um like you said it's been a um uphill fight uh it's been tough but um we're still not where we want to be we got to continue to play the game the right way day in and day out we enjoyed this one we celebrate it um um with our families and our fan base uh but yeah you just got to stay the course continue to stay the course continue to um Learn day in and day out, and this this road it's 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 been um, yeah it's been curvy, but um, uh, I wouldn't want it any other way. What does it make you feel like when a lot of your teammates will, will say that you know Francisco? Not that they expect it to happen, but they kind of have a sense when you're in a spot like that that you're going to be the guy to do it. Is it? Well, I, I love them for them believing in me. I, be, I believe in every one of them um, as well. I believe that anybody at any given time can do something special. Um, we have a bunch of really good baseball players that can do the little things right. And and when you focus on little things, big things can happen. Um, my bat doesn't come up if it wasn't for the guys in front of me. Um, you know, JD starting the inning, um, Martin, and then you have Tyrone. Um, you have all those guys. Alvi, even though he 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 didn't get a base hit, but still, you know, he gave me um, he he got on base somehow, somewhere where it was the ball been thrown to home plate. Um, so yeah, anyone uh, any one of us could have done it. It just worked out. That it was me today. See, Gatorly, don't Gatorly. You're gonna go down here in the front to John. Gatorly, to get it, what get it. Francisco, I, I'd let you guess who said this, but you could probably guess. But I'll tell you, it was Harrison Bader. He's poised. He's a cold dude. He's the coldest dude I've ever been around. What is it? I mean, you're known as Mr. Smiles, but you just seem very, very calm. Are you as calm as you seem? Um, I'm enjoying the moment. I'm I'm living in the moment. Um, I, a lot of people are asking me why you're not reacting. Um, must be a good gator. Um why why I'm not reacting to the home runs and I am reacting, you know. Is I'm celebrating inside. Um but at the end of the day the job is not finished until we play twenty seven outs, you know, so um Beta Beta is a, a great teammate, a gamer, somebody that um shows up, posts up day in and day out, um, whether he's playing or not. So him saying that it's it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go down here in the front to Pete. Francisco, uh, Brandon spoke just about the emotional moment that you guys had, and just how much you two have been together. Just, what does it mean to you to, I guess, be doing this with this core group? Um, the fact that you guys are advancing as far as you ever have. Brandon's amazing. He's an amazing leader. You know, he's an amazing teammate, and I'm super proud of him. You know, he, he. He has been through a lot in this organization. He he stuck with it, and um, he he wants it. He wants it just as bad as anybody else out there. Um, I'm proud of him because the the growth that he has shown um, of how to carry himself day in and day out, um, it, and his at bats have been amazing. Um, and that, I think today um, he wasn't feeling 100, percent and he gave everything he had. You know, so to me that that shows character. And um, I love him. I love him. Um, it's amazing. 
I'm, I'm happy. And, and just as far as Quintana today, just what has he meant to this team and how did he kind of keep you guys within striking distance? Quintana, Severino, Manea, McGill, Peterson, and the bullpen, what a job they have done. You know, they, throughout different times of the year, they have carried us, you know. Um, so it's the resiliency that they, they they have shown, you know. The, those guys are, are amazing at what they do, and I'm super proud of every one of them. They push each other to to his limits, and um, they go out, and, man, it's, it's, it seems like they're just going – deep in games every single time they, they have gone. So to me, that, that shows how much they want it, um, how much they're prepared. The job that they have done have been unbelievable. And, and I mean, Philly's a great team. You know, hats off to them. They, they, they're a great team. They're a good ball club. Um, they, they do a lot of things right. And for our pitching staff to be able to uh, maneuver through that lineup the way they did, um, it's, it's, it shows how good um, they are. Okay, we're going to go on the left in the middle. Francisco, is there any extra significance knowing that you're a part of the team that this is the first time in 24 years that they've clinched a playoff series at home to do it in front of this fan base? Um, I want to win it all. I want to win it all, and then that will be a team that will forever be remembered. Um, that will be a team that comes every 10 years um, and eat f for free everywhere they go. <laughs> um, and it, it, I want to do that. I want to do that. The job is not done. We got to continue to climb. We got to continue to play the game the right way, respect our opponents, and go out there and give everything we have. Okay, we can take a couple more here. Take one right here, front. Francisco, this is the furthest you've made it in the playoffs since your time in Cleveland. Is there anything from those prior experiences that you're you've brought with you into this run and look to bring further with you? You know, as the run goes on. It's not easy to be here. Um, enjoy. It. Don't take it for granted because it doesn't happen every year. Um, if it happens every year, great. But it, it's, it's not easy to be here. Um, respect your opponent. Um, work, grind, compete, give everything you got. Because um, this this runs they they it don't happen every 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 year. You know, don't matter how good your team is, nothing is promised. So um, that's that's the mentality I have. Uh, we have some amazing runs in Cleveland, and I'm get, I'm glad I get to do this now in New York. Okay, we're going to go far left over there. Francisco, you've talked to us a lot all year about the chemistry of this team and how solid it is. Players, players, you know, trying to beat out players with positions, but rooting for the player that's taking over there at bats. Mm -hmm. How much did that help in the on the field moments where you guys were in tough moments where you had to kind of vault over the top? Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have to um, look at each other in the eye and say, uh, you my teammate, I respect you. Uh, the guys that haven't won a position or they're trying to beat each other in the position say, we're going to give everything we have, and whatever happens, I'll be cheering for you. And that's what a lot of guys are doing in there. However, um, the chemistry have grown a lot. I mean, every time you celebrate, I've never said that many I love yous to, to that many guys that I haven't said that to, to them in a uh, the whole year, you know, I think I probably said at least 26 I love you to, uh, so far. Um, so, and there'll be more throughout the night. Uh, I'm just very proud of the group. Um, I love how they embrace the moment, how we embrace the moment, how we continue to push forward. And the job that the coaching staff have done, the analytic department, the front office, um, everyone that's included in, in this run, it's, it's, it's a fabulous job, you know. Um, we stay the course and we move forward. We got to keep climbing. Francisco, enjoy the next few days. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on. Come on. This concludes the interview room for tonight.